ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we're doing our first Coffee Lake Showdown. It's the Intel i5-8400 going up against the AMD Ryzen 5 1600X. And this is actually a price-to-price -price showdown, but of course we'll talk about that later on in the video. First of all, this was supposed to be an 8700K showdown. But uh, unfortunately, there was some sort of mix-up, and Intel sent me a box which said 8700K, but actually had an 8400 in it. So you can see on the CPU there, it says uh, 2.8 gigahertz. And when I opened up, I was very confused. I hit up Steve from Hardware Unbox, and I was like, Steve, what is this? And he's like, bro, that's an 8400. So I was like, all right, so we're going to have to do this. Uh, fortunately, I had the 1600X on hand, so I could uh, quickly change and start testing that instead of the 1700 which I wanted to put up against the 8700K. Anyways, let's get on with this video then and talk about the specs of these two CPUs. So the 8400 is a 6 core, 6 thread CPU. It's coming with a 2.8 gigahertz base clock and a 4 gigahertz turbo clock and a 65 watt TDP. The Ryzen 1600X is also a 6 core CPU but it's got 12 threads, not 6, it's got 12. It's also coming with a higher base clock at 3.6 GHz, although it has the same turbo clock of 4 GHz, and it also has a higher TDP coming in at 95 watts. Now let's talk about the test rigs then. So I tested the 8400 with the new MSI Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon, and this board is absolutely fantastic. I've been really loving it so far. I'm like the gaming pro, <laughs> a gaming pro carbon, carbon master now, since that's what I run in my rig as well. It's just how things turn out. Uh, the 1600X was tested with the ASUS Prime X370 Pro. This is a good entry-level X370 motherboard that I've had. Uh, I, I really enjoy This is a really solid motherboard, and it comes in at a very good price point as well. Now, both of them were running a G-Skill memory, a 16 gigabyte kit, at 2933 megahertz for all the tests. Both of them had the exact same GPU. Uh, it's my personal GPU, the MSI GTX 1080 Ti Gaming X, which is also a great graphics card. And they both use the same aftermarket cooler. It's the Deepcool Gamex uh, 120mm air cooler. I thought this would make it a lot more fair, and since, you know, the... the the 1600X doesn't come with a cooler as well. I can't use an AMD stock cooler on it. And this was the one I thought that would be the most fair for this video because that's a quite kind of entry level uh, air cooler that I think a lot of people out there may run with a CPU like an 8400 or you know a 1600X for that matter. So let's talk about the overclocking then and the temperatures. So you can't overclock the 8400. If you didn't know, it's a lock CPU, which means can't over, overclock it, unfortunately. The 1600X, on the other hand, can be uh, overclocked. It's fully unlocked, so that's really good. However, since it's got a 4 gigahertz turbo clock anyway, uh, and I only managed a 4 gigahertz overclock, which is actually very typical for Ryzen CPU, you'll see in the benchmarks, and in many of them, there's very little difference between the uh, stock results and the overclocked results. But you know, you can still overclock it if you want. You may get a golden chip and you might get 4.1, 4.2 gigahertz out of it. So then that would be uh, really good there. Temps wise, I ran IDA64, the CPU stress test for five minutes and took the temperatures. And as you guys can see, the 8400 did very good there. Does have that lower TDP. The 1600X getting a bit hot there. The uh, overclock temps there getting up, up quite high. I think that's mainly because I was pumping quite a bit of voltage through it, but I was in a bit of a rush to get out this video um, because of the <laughs> mix-up I explained earlier. So with all that being said, let's jump into the benchmarks and see how these two CPUs perform.
back. So what do we make of the benchmark set? So the 1600X walks away with it in productivity. Even at the stock clocks, it knocked a minute off the render time compared to the 8400. And that's to be expected. It does have the 12 threads opposed to the six threads you have on the 8400. What was interesting though is in the games where the 8400 did a very solid job at 1080p. 1440p brought them very close together as to be expected, but at 1080p the 8400 put in a really good showing. So I think this is going to get less and less going forward, but you know, I still have to hand it to it. The 8400 did very good there, but in terms of the pure CPU horsepower, the 1600X wins for sure. Which brings us to the conclusion then, and we need to bring price into the equation. So right now, at Playtech in New Zealand, you can pick up the i5-8400 for a 200, uh, sorry, 300, that would be cheap, 349 New Zealand dollars. If you want to get the 1600X, that's going to cost you $25 more. That's coming in, or $26 more, I should say. It's coming in at 375 New Zealand dollars. Now, that being said, you may think, well, that's quite good. The 8400 is actually cheaper. But that's a little bit deceiving because of the motherboards. So Z370 motherboards right now are a bit more expensive than their X370 counterparts and a lot more expensive than the B350s. And they're all you can get right now. Uh, you want, you, you got Z370s only until next year, basically. So that being said, you the 8400 might be slightly cheaper, but you got to pay a bit extra uh, for the motherboards, especially if you're planning on using the 1600X with a B350 motherboard, which, you know, then it's going to be much cheaper to go with the AMD route. So that being said, who do I say wins the showdown? And... This one's harder for me to pick, but I have to go with the 1600X. I'll give you my reason why. The 8400 is a good CPU, and Intel have closed the gap big time from uh, KB Lake in terms of the difference in value for money for, uh, between their CPUs and AMD CPUs. It's, it's closed quite a bit now with the 8400. So that's really good. And it, it, the 8400 is still a good CPU. Don't let anybody tell you different. It is a good CPU. The 1600X is just better value. It's going to end up right now being cheaper with a motherboard, especially if you go with a B350. And it just has more raw CPU horsepower. It's, it's just got more of it. It's got the 12 threads there. It's just going to be the more powerful CPU going forward. Uh, and certain games, I think, in the future will probably reflect that better. And definitely, if you're doing anything with productivity, even if you're doing it casually, you're going to notice the difference there with the 1600X. So yeah, i got to give it to the 1600X. But hey, that's just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think. In the comment section down below, who do you think won this showdown? The 1600X or the 8400? Let me know. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already, and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.